Citizens of the Reject Nation, it is time to shh. That means we're watching Hush. Mike Flanagan, 2016. Hush, it's what really put him on the map before all those TV shows that we know and love. Uh, it's Ron Joxy today. John! Hey! Oh, you Roxy. broke my vow of silence just then. Ron Joxy's back in the hot seat. Yeah. You can't be silent when you're Ron Joxy. And nah, dude. Not when you're Ron Drippy Joxie Moist. Ron Joxy and Drippy Moist That's back in the building. 100% true. I hope you like this movie. I hope we like this movie. Me it's too. It's supposed to be a Excited. good one, and Mike is my... My guy, I'm a I'm a Mikey gal, so Ooh, I'm yeah. a Flanna guy. So much cooler than mine. Nuh uh Yeah. They're they're a yin and a yang. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. Let us know if you are hushed throughout this whole thing. Actually, don't be hushed. Write things. Be vocal with us, because that's the point of a reaction. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> are you little John right now? That's my role for this whole reaction. I'll be making three comments. Great. I hope you're hushed the entire time except for that. Oh, except for the fact that you're going to be at Comic-Con. That is that is a fact. We are Saturday. We got a panel Saturday afternoon, 1 p.m. Greg Coy and I, it's going to be fun. Maybe even a Roxy appearance. You never know. I might stop by. We're in some kind of cat ears. Who knows why? And don't forget also to go over to Patreon if you want to see more of us, if you want to see more of the video, the whole thing, then you can be a super sexy reject. All right, should we do it? Let's do it. Shh. What's your prediction for how long it's silent in this movie? That's an excellent question. <laughs> I'll give it 10 minutes. Whoa! <laughs> well, I lost the bet, Roxy. <laughs> Walked right into that one. I was going to say 45 minutes, so you would have won. It's a lovely cabin in the woods. I wonder how many people rented this and were like, something's wrong with the... Ooh, making a feast. How much for a rib? One rib. So this is the first we saw her before Hill House? Might be. They're married, you know. Are they really? Yeah. Huh. Cool way of showing that she's deaf. That's a nice perspective switch. <laughs> Gosh, I'm supposed to respond to her shit. <laughs> Said waiting on John. So <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. Part. This is often what people text about me. <laughs> I actually love that she's in there as Sarah next door. It's how real people save people's numbers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, who's that? That's a cat? Yeah. That's <laughs> a Forest neighborhood cat. <laughs> it's a wild cat. Yeah. She's doing a service, all right? It could uh. be out there devouring someone's puggle right now. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Oh, that's a... I don't know, but I know I know her. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. Comment below. Is this another Triple H situation? She's a wrestler, yes. <laughs> Getting warmer. I finished your book. I know you can read my lips, but I'm getting better. Better. <laughs> I want to practice. Taking another class with John. It's fun. <laughs> I'm way better at understanding it than actually doing it. It's true. I can vouch for that. I tried to guess the ending. I'm usually on point with that sort of thing, but I was way off. I'm always on point. <laughs> that sort of thing. Uh, uh -huh. Makes me crazy. Foreshadowing. <laughs> yeah, you gotta find like the right ending to connect to the right story. Does the voice sound like a kid? Uh -huh. You were 13 when you got sick. I think they say 50% of us think in voice. Yeah. Right? And certain people don't have an internal yeah. monologue. I think that you are a good storyteller she's in his mike's other stuff that's how i know her <laughs> <laughs> um, those are very different <laughs> oh yeah i was gonna say you left all that stuff cooking <laughs> 
Oh, boy. Not the cat. These things rattle your brains. God, that is one hell of a fire alarm. Yeah, it's like a burglar alarm. Well, I imagine that would wake anyone. Yeah, that's handy. <laughs> Jesus, though, how much sound that must be. I was in the Miracle Worker in high school, and they oh, yeah. we took some sign language. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You remember any of it? A little bit, because it's the most beautiful language of all time. Truly. Oh, who's Craig? Someone who's thinking of her, obviously. Dude. No, and he, hey, she's got so many friends reading that book. I do not think Craig's a good guy. I think you're misreading that. Craig there's a reason she deleted it. Yeah. Because he's just too good. No. And she can't live up to that. <laughs> yes, and why put yourself through that? You that's know? how it works. You're right. That's what makes us women Craig delete Craig is going to kick the door in by the end of the movie. Midnight Mass. Midnight Mass. Easter eggs. Oh, my God. Wait, so, so is this before? So is Midnight Mass. Oh, it's way before Midnight Mass. Because this is 2016. Midnight Mass was during the pandemic? I think so. And before that was Haunting the Hill House and Bly Manor. Yeah. Is Midnight Mass, like, canonically supposed to be based on this book? Is she a writer of monologues? I don't know, but Mike Flanagan's the it guy, dude. It's Andy Muschietti, actually, because he directed it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I know what you meant. I was like, <laughs> I know what you meant. What? Just being a horror goof on you. Do I have it? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. What? The church to Aaron. Ooh. The church to Father Paul. Bring in Aaron. Scratch that. The rage bubbled up, spreading into his head. Oh. His ears rang. His eyes felt hot. Whose voice do you think she hears? She said it sounds like her mother. That's better. I need something more. Something that's okay. Better. Aaron dies. Can't kill Aaron. Oh. Piss him all off. Didn't set it up. <laughs> oh, this is a great internal monologue. This is very real. <laughs> <laughs> Call Craig. Which Craig is it going to be? It's Craig Robinson. Nope. It's not Craig Robinson. <laughs> you know, boy can dream. Oh, uh, no, he got a ring, though. That's worse. You, did, you let it ring through twice, girl? Dude. Don't you. Okay, oh. okay, okay. No. But uh, you did it no. again? No. No. Babe. Dude. Babe. Now you're trapped. No, no. <laughs> you hate to see it. Oh. You never, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. Nope. Oh, God. Nope. Oh, boy. And that's the last we'll hear of Craig. <laughs> that is a perfectly good sauce concoction. <laughs> Is it? Looks like a gravy of some kind. You hear a knock at the door. She's not going to eat anything. <laughs> oh! Uh. Mighty, please help me! Oh, Jesus. Punch through. Yeah, that's glass. <laughs> Kick it. Owie. Whoa, is that an arrow? <laughs> Bummer. Oh, wow. I feel like she was a vibe. Ouch. Oh, God. It's like a scream movie. It just feels like a ghost facey kind of kill. That mask is really creepy. Yeah. Sometimes the masks in these movies look goofy to me. This <laughs> one does not look goofy. It's a fine art. The iconic horror mask or the creepy horror mask. <laughs> Pick up, maybe he'll see something. Ah, oh. uh, got the flash. That'll come back later. Oh. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Brilliant! Oh, Shazbot. Hey, Squish. Squash. Did you talk to him? It's been a year. Mom keeps asking when you're getting back out there. <laughs> she wants grandchildren. Look at you. <laughs> it's not good for anyone to be alone, Squish. No. Who was that? Oh, damn. Behind you, 
thought I saw something move. Bitch. <laughs> Bitch ass cat. In the view. I wonder how the deaf community feels about her signage. I know that she's obviously not a deaf actress. I'm curious the reception this movie had. Yeah. She's doing a great job from my eyes, but I, I don't know. And how much super powerfication will there be? <laughs> What's that? Well, you know, just like how much are they going to make it some kind of like superpower? Oh, oh, yeah. Well, know? I mean, she didn't notice him at the door, so I don't think much. Yeah. She clearly didn't get like super sight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that like I can sense any vibration yeah. in the air. <laughs> She's daredevil. You never know. Oy. Yes. Get that woozy tracking shot. You're probably able to shoot this for not that expensive, too. I love these one house things that are done well. Yeah. Creepy. Bitch. You think bitch is dead? Where are you, bitch? I'm going to say no, not yet. But by the end of the movie? I don't know, man. Maybe. We live in a time where it could go either way. So here are the other characters that we could still come and help. John. Yes. Craig. John and Craig are going to show and up. And Bitch. John, Craig, and Bitch are all <laughs> going to show up as like a buddy cop team. Oh. Because he took her phone. Oh. Ig. Oh, God. Okay, what do you do in this moment? Burn it down. You definitely oh. you message your sister and say SOS nine one one help. Yeah. Oh. jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> the game is afoot. <laughs> oh no. No. It's like at this point she doesn't know her bestie or neighbor has been murdered, so also she doesn't know what like is he here to rob me? Is he yeah. willing to kill me? <laughs> Crossbow, it feels a little bit like you're next. I wonder who's under that mask. He has like very telling eyes. Yeah. Can can you FaceTime nine one one? Can you oh, damn it. And if you had your phone, you could do a hot spot. Start guessing, babe. <laughs> uh, oh. Look at him. Yeah, you got the <laughs> goosebumps. That's authentic. You know how much a tire costs? Like 800 bucks. <laughs> got nice ass tires. <laughs> He's slashing for them. I bet it's going to be more than that. Yep. It's game time, babe. You can do this. Oh. You going to leave him a message? I think it's for him or for if they find her. Oh. Didn't tell. Whoa. Won't tell. Didn't see face. Boyfriend coming. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I hope so. Oh, he's going to show her his face. Wow. She doesn't know him. Okay. I recognize him, too. I can come in anytime I want. And I can yeah. get you anytime I want. Uh. But I'm not going to. Not until it's time. When you wish you're dead, that's when I'll come inside. Wow. Nod your head if you understand me. Let me see you nod your head. I'm actually really glad they had him lose his mask. Yeah, it's a nice. Usually it makes subversion. somebody less scary. This made him significantly more scary. Well, yeah, because it's just a guy. <laughs> He's just some lunatic. And then it doesn't become a game of who's under the mask. Yeah. It's what's that guy going to do? Get a couple. I just wonder why they introduced John as a concept, though, if we're not going to see him at any point. I think we've got it, right? Especially because what happened with Sarah. Right now, I'm like, yeah, those guys are going to add to the body count. <laughs> God, what a nightmare. 
really good, simple setup to this. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Do not look. Do not look. Uh. Whoa. What? Well, it looks like a jacked up hand. Is that her homegirl? Oh, I thought they were homegirls. Oh, you're gross. Right. You're right, you're right. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. Oh, no, don't drop the knife. That is so twisted. Uh. What are you going to do, go out there now? Oh. <laughs> wow. But why'd you leave the room? Because you didn't want to see that anymore. It's weird, yeah. It, like now it begs the question. Like I guess I'd always want to keep him in my sight. Yeah. Or would I? <laughs> I don't know. If you didn't have sound, then yes. Okay, let it out. Breathe. What? No. What was she just trying to see? I think she was trying to like set off the car alarm. So somebody would come? Yeah. The range on those keys is really bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nope. Careful. What is that? Oh, okay. Oh, Door. nope. Careful. <laughs> He's right there, right? Yeah, she did unlock it. Oh. Dude, the, the fire alarm's right there. <laughs> oh, really good with the choreography. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, her phone, her phone, her phone, her phone. That's what her plan uh -huh. was when she saw that. Oh, smart. Yeah. Come on. No. <laughs> I'm dripping moist right now. That's good. I knew I would have to pass the mantle. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Oh. Whoa! Not bad. Come on, push. What's harder? Probably Camera. pushing up. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, they're coming. It's all part of the game, man. Of course he's got it. <laughs> it's so condescending. <laughs> yeah. uh. Where is he? Oh. He's, it sounds like he's, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. he's creeping in. It's a nice, like, split frame. This is darker than Game of Thrones. <laughs> I feel like maybe if I were her, I would get out of the house. I don't know that you're safer inside the house. Oh. I think I just gave bad advice. She sensed your vibrations. Especially out here, it's going to be like a noisatorium. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Start jumping up and down. No, no don't breathe. <laughs> no, that's about a blind guy. This is horrifying. Yeah, cat and mouse, man. No, I don't like this. No, no, don't, don't move, don't f move, don't. F oh don't. no, no. No, 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 no! <laughs> Stop! No! Oh God, no! no. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Ugh. Yeah. What did he do? He oh. Shot, yeah. Shot an arrow right past her. Oh. Wait, where is she now running to? Running zigzag. She's going back, back inside. Back in the house? Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. I gave you bad advice, my girl. <laughs> it's all your fault. I hate to sound like my grandma, but I do wish that they made this a little brighter. It's like, <laughs> I can't tell what is going on. No, 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 feet first. Are you, what are you kidding me? You dive out. What are you first. kidding me? <laughs> no. I'm torn. 
Roof is kind of better, maybe, until he gets up there. No, he's got arrows, bro. Maybe take your shoes off. Then you have no shoes on. That's a whole other problem. What's that red thing? Whoa. <laughs> smart. I mean, so far, she's pretty she's resourceful. She's very smart. And in a way that feels relatively plausible. Because she's a novelist. That's right. It's her job to think of all the possible outcomes. Seven. She has seven endings. No. Crawl up to the peak. No, not, not the, no. Ugh. Sh did you shoot her? Yeah. Oh. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Right knew in the it. IT band. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Deep. Good flexibility there. Really good. No, he's going to climb the trellis now. Now Ow. she, but she has one now. Ugh. I don't really it's good. Think it's it a, a modern arrow. Well, you know, the ones I that you can it. actually pull out without jacking yourself up more. Oh, I thought you said modern era. Like she could get help in the hospital <laughs> after. I'm glad this isn't in the like 1600s. Yes. Do you know how to use that? No. <laughs> what are you going to do right now, boo? Drop it on his head. It'd still do a lot of damage. Oh boy, come on. Oh, come on. No, no. Oh, Christ. No, close Crank the window. That. Close the window. Crank that soldier boy. No, no, Crank no. It. Yes. <laughs> Just learning how to deal with it. <laughs> He's like, touche. Not bad. Touche, mademoiselle. You're not going to pray for death as quickly as I thought. I'm sure this isn't the most of her worries right now, but I don't like her taking off her pants near him. You gotta oh, do what so you gotta you're do. Gonna do yeah. This. yeah, I mean, if you don't have a That's scissor. That's what I'm saying. It's not, it's not the most of her worries right now, but. Ah. So, where are you supposed to tie? Like above it, below it? I. Guess what? Right above it? That's what keep, I would think, right? Keep anything keep from the flowing from flow into it. Yeah, but I actually don't know how the blood flow works in your legs. Fire off a practice shot so we know that you know how it works. Yeah, let's do a training montage. Oh, that's uh, his kill list. 13, huh? Ah. She's trying to figure out how it works, or? Yeah. Is that what that's for? Oh no! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, <gasps> John. Sarah. It's John. I knew John would come. We always show up right at the end. Boyfriend. What? On the ground. Oh no. I said on the hey, ground. No, drop hey. it. No, no, no. It's just, it's just a drop phone. It. I was just gonna call hey, the cops. Okay. On your knees. Okay. Oh. This Pretending he's a guy. Cop. I responded to a call. There's someone inside. He came running past me, knocked me cold. I woke up without my phone or my radio. I need to call for backup. Oh, no. Jeez. Can I use your phone? Call for backup. I should have called it in when I first got here. But here you go. Right. Oh, he's going to break it. Does have a lock on that thing? Yeah, I got a 719 here at 811 Fairhope. Signs of possible forced entry. Suspect is at large on foot. What's the tell? Phone. Yeah, of course, man. Sorry. So stupid of me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Of course, it happens. Yeah. Well, what was... That must be his girlfriend's earring. But was that intentional? You said you responded to a call. Was that from Maddie? From dispatcher. They said someone uh, had called it in. Yeah, because she wouldn't be able to make that call. She's deaf and mute. <laughs> Stop saying your thoughts out loud. Well, I guess it must have been your girlfriend then made the call. That was a pretty clumsy lie there. Yeah, you know, I can't swear to it, but yeah, you know, I'm pretty sure she has a spare key in that uh, planner on the oh, no. porch down there. No, no, no. Uh, it's right down there on that corner. This John actor looks familiar, too. For sure. You trashed her car pretty good, huh? Oh, yeah, look at that. Jeez. Call 
Send a text. Make a call. In here, you said? Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. Oh, no. Don't be too obvious with that yeah, rock. Yeah, you, you were not built for this guy. Oh, no. Ah! Whoa! Ah. Knew it. Knew it. Knew it. Knew it. Easy. Oh. <laughs> Hey, 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 Damn hey, hey. it. It's done. It's done. It's done. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh. That was tough. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh! <laughs> oh, Go oh nice. Nice shot there. <laughs> I do got his one like horror movie. I'm not quite dead jump. Yeah, because he doesn't know his girlfriend's dead either. <laughs> Run. You can read his lips from all the way over there. Damn. She's like, I can only stumble. No. No. Ow. This is the image that she's having if she ran. One of the endings. Yeah. yeah, she's playing them out in her head. This isn't real. You can't run. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Work it out like a story. <laughs> Take control of the narrative. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh. No. I would have maybe tried to go out there and kill him while he was being strangled. Crossbow, but that has to be a perfect shot in the heart or in the brain. Heart or the brain. Anything else is not going to cut it. Won't cut it. Shot. Uh. Hiding. Hiding. Uh. Bedroom, bathroom, loft. Loft doesn't have any cover, no doors to barricade. No doors in best case scenario, he doesn't find you and you bleed to death. Uh. Go back outside. Back to the crawl space. I've tried that once. He knows you already tried that once. There's not a lot of room to maneuver. He figures out you're there. Yeah. He figures out. Do the classic horror DVD poster. Sooner or later, he is coming in here. He knows I'm bleeding out. Once he is in this house, it is over. He is bigger, in. stronger, and faster. Harder, better. Don't you Kanye me right now. <laughs> I'm deft punking you, all right. <laughs> Good point. And we can't wait. Oi, oi. You go outside, you are dead. This is really, really well done right now. Whoa. All the Too endings. many endings. Too many endings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were a better writer, this wouldn't be happening. Which means there's only one ending he won't expect. He can't run, hide, or wait. You gotta kill him. Invite him in. What does that leave? Join him. Yeah, kill him. I said that first. I said kill him, and then I said invite him in. I didn't know which way they were going. <laughs> <laughs> invite him in. Engage For him in a dialogue. Who oh, no, bitch. Oh, hey there. You want a cigarette? Dear kitty kitty, is he going to use her to try to lure her? Don't you dare. You dare oh. hurt the kitty. Welcome home, puss. You're going to see mommy very soon. In hell. At least she'll see you. Ugh. Nail to the front. Oh, yeah. Damn. Quality shot. But that's not killing him. What? 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 Ow! Oh! <gasps> Ow! Ah! Ah! Ow! Oh my God! Oh! Jeez! <laughs> Oh. I've actually never seen a hand that mangled ever before in my entire life. I feel like I could vomit. Maybe one other time, but yeah. Ugh. Oh. I've gotten good at icky hand gags lately in horror cinema. I'm coming in. She did get him, though. He might be bleeding, too. Oh, come at me, bro. Oh. Okay. Last remaining finger to f give you the bird. Uh. Write him a message. Ugh. <laughs> oh, golly. 
<laughs> I love her. You think you're so tough? <laughs> I just gotta finish my book. <laughs> if I die today, <laughs> let this be my last will and testament. Yes, yeah, smart. <laughs> Ah. Uh, uh, yeah. What an, oh. <laughs> what an incredible ending. Wow. <laughs> really Night got fighting. Me. Oh. No. Ugh. Hold on. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what? What? Those are glass shards. Yeah. <laughs> Gnarly. <laughs> what, he's coming through the other way? Yeah, he just dropped into frame. He's right behind her. Maybe she notices. Aye. You know what? And you feel his breath. I think that you're holding out on me. I bet if I hit the right spot, I can make you scream. Uh. One of those guys. Out this breath. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Grab the other knife now. Finish yeah. the job. Yeah, don't leave him with both the knives. <laughs> Grab the other knife. Finish the job. Work the killer. Shouts out to Tony Baker. Work the Her killer. Her hand is so effing gnarly. Yeah. Oh. oh. When I look at it, I like can't. I get phantom pains, sympathetic pains. Yeah, I feel like I've been holding myself this whole movie. Oh! Oh. Oh. No, she's pretending? Maybe. No, I don't think she's pretending. I think she's just exhausted. Ugh. Ah! What was it? It's like oh, wow. pesticide, yeah. Oh, clever girl. This is good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yup, yup, yup. <laughs> I am nice. obsessed with her. Go. Go for it. No, 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 no. no. It's okay. These things are so disorienting. Come on. Ooh. Ow. Oh, jeez. Come on. We're so close. Pop his cork. His wrist. The wrist. Maybe they're going to do endings again. Oh. 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 Oh, with the pullout. Do you think they're both going to die right now? God, that has to be a unique kind of pain. <laughs> yeah. If I were her, that's like the proudest I'd ever be in my whole life. I mean. Yeah. Right. Also, she wrote that thing like, show me the money or give me the money, whatever. You write this story, babe. You end up rich. Yeah. yeah. Give me back my phone. Who do you call? I'm resisting the <laughs> urge. <laughs> you call the cops. <laughs> Ghostbusters ain't gonna help in this situation. No, you should call us Craig. <laughs> That's who you should call. <laughs> The cops show up. What the hell happened to you? The hell happened here? Oh, good. Bitch. That's right. She did uh, hit him right in the nick of time. Her hand. 
That's gonna need so many surgeries. This is the bluest cop car. <laughs> you got a little piece of mine. Ha! Huh? Really good. Well done. Good job, Mike Flanagan and Katie Siegel. She wrote it with she him. She co-wrote it. Damn, that's really cool. Wow. Well that was done, team. Really, really great work. Yeah. Oh, oh I dug man. the heck out of that. That yeah. was really cool. That, that was so. Oh, he edited his. Oh, wow. Yeah. He does. does he always yeah. edit his own stuff? I didn't even know. I think that's the thing. Yeah. I think that's a Mike Flanagan thing, or at least a lot of his stuff. Certainly. You would think with a script like this, you kind of would need to because there's so few words yeah right he just kind of he wrote it and was like i know what i'm doing yeah i'm gonna write it so much of this has to be in yeah in the in the choreography and then the, yeah the careful assembly and editing did that meet your expectations knowing some of mike flanagan's other work yeah i mean you know this this to me is like okay earlier mike flanagan before you know stuff like hill house that that i know him the best for uh, and I thought it did nicely to play off of, you know, you see this and, and being familiar with some of the advertising, you're like, oh, it's a home invasion sort of slasher movie. And I think they did a nice job to present themselves very much that way. Uh, John Gallagher Jr., I wonder if he... Oh! And Michael Trico. Wait, 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 John Gallagher Jr. is... Is that Friday Night Live? Wait, what is he from? He's from one of my shows. Like what is he, it? I, I gotta think, look. I gotta I look. I think he did a movie that a friend of ours wrote. What if is I'm it? not mistaken. Uh, 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 the Vanishing of Sydney Hall is the name of that movie. I don't I know about I that one. That. But it's I got know, Logan Lerman. I think I've too. met him before. Like, I really feel like I know, know this. Oh, sure. 10 Cloverfield Lane. Sure. There you go. Exactly. There you go. Yeah, 100%. That's what it is. Okay. Wow. Where's Where's the John actor from? Because I know I've seen him, too. Okay, let's check it out. we got to find all of this right now. So, uh, he Michael uh, Trucco. Tru 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 Trucco? Trucco. Um, okay, I don't know any of these. Hunter Killer, next. He's been in a lot of stuff, But I've, I definitely recognize him from something. Oh, he was in the Midnight Club also, Midnight Mass. All right. So, wow, Mike Flanagan uses all the he same people. He loves his troop. Over and over again. Oh, he was in Disjointed. That's what I know him from. Did you watch that Netflix show, Disjointed? Did not. He was. Uh, he owned the place next door, and they had a f whatever. Okay. He was great in that. Okay. But yeah. But yeah, I, I like the way that this like played off of what I came to expect from knowing at least the trailer, and and did a thing where it's like I can like Mike Flanagan certainly seems like you know one of the you know current people you turn to for like a good Stephen King quality thing or uh, a good um oh what is her name who wrote Hill House uh, you know either way I, I think you you turn to him for those sort of gothic more literary feeling things and this was cool because it had all those pleasures you want out of a home invasion slasher movie there are a lot of things that do remind me of something like The Strangers but I also really appreciated that um, and I also thought of like your next as well, and I liked that this kind of yeah deconstructs a little bit of the home invasion, the slasher, but but does it in a way where, you know, instead of resting on the mystery of the mask and the iconography, they really just make it like a a real cat and mouse, two characters on either side of a wall, basically, you know, trying to outwit one another, and uh, and so yeah, like by the end. It started out, and I was like, okay, like, I've seen versions of this movie before, and this is doing it pretty well. But by the end, I was like, oh, this is actually pretty neat. Like, you take off the killer's mask right away. Like, he becomes a character, and it's all about sort of watching them, you know, back and forth as yeah. they try to figure each other out. And then you have the additional element of, of yeah, the limited, uh, you know, sound and whatnot and her not being able to hear and having to be resourceful in different ways. I'm super with you on that. He has not missed for me yet. Like no, I, I, very consistent. I didn't think this was going to be the first one to miss, but like you <laughs> said, it kind of has a, a ba basic premise as opposed to some of his other ones that have more layers. He is, to me, I don't know if other people talk about him this way, but he, I know him for doing things in the horror space, but also sure. um, like religious horror, I would almost call it. And yeah. this didn't have that second element. This was, this wasn't like, um, I've I've seen Hill House, Blind Manor, Midnight Mass, and Midnight Club. I love all four of those for different reasons. Yeah. But they all have like a second thing. Mm -hmm. And this kind of just is what it is. So I was It's very straightforward in yeah. that sense. Yeah. So I was kind of curious, okay, because it was his earlier work, because he probably didn't have as big of a budget, because there's not that many people in the cast, am I gonna just be underwhelmed by this? Yeah. 
but I wasn't because the suspense is there the whole time and the the way that they it was shot and the um, how believable her character is Katie Siegel's character yeah. is just so Maddie that's the character name. how believable Maddie is because she's never out fighting him she's yeah. never like you know sometimes all of a sudden you'll see in these movies there will then just be this person who's significantly smaller and less strong just like sucker punch somebody and you're sure. like that's not how that would work here she's outsmarting him and yeah. she's a novelist and yeah. so at every turn even with the multiple endings or whatever i'm just sitting there thinking this is really smartly done oh that was so good i really dug that yeah and they're not making her unbelievable they're not to me at least and again i would be curious to hear what you know a, a deaf viewer's take might be on a movie like this but I feel like they haven't uh, gone so far as to make it like, oh, yeah, there's this like badass moment where she like suits up and all of a sudden she can hear and sense everything via vibrations in the air. Like, you know, they, they kept everything uh, really, mm -hmm. it felt like conscientious to her situation and to, you know, the few assets she has at her disposal being inside the house and having that space to work with. And then, yeah, really having to kind of figure this guy out and yeah like her being a writer is another like really, really Stephen King flourish but I really like the way that they put uh her sort of thought process on display and the way that they you know had her express in various different ways and and use the range of um uh what's her name Katie Siegel like her abilities um but yeah I thought she really inhabited that role really well and she's like a hard one final girl because again like this this made me think in in moments of something like again the strangers or or your next and your next certainly has that thing where it's like the heroine emerges as this badass and that's really fun and that's, I haven't seen either of and those. that's it works for that movie they're worth a watch okay um but yeah, like this, I thought like was a real tooth and nail struggle, and I thought that while it's not like the deepest character piece or whatever, I always felt connected to Maddie, and I always, you know, was like really in the intensity of the moment with her. Why do you think they included Craig? I think it's just one of those things to give you a red herring. It's something to give her story a little bit more just flavor, because now you know, like, okay, she's got this relationship that is, you know, Clearly in the past, but not entirely. Could he be the killer? Could he be somebody who's going to show up later and maybe get killed? Uh, yeah, I think it's mostly yeah, just like a character beat slash red herring. And I mean, for me, like that worked because I was sitting here going like, Craig, go show up. Me too. I kept you know, saying like it she's, out loud. He's like, she's called him a couple times. He's called back a few times. Maybe he'll just get concerned. But yeah, like it, it worked that he didn't show up. I wonder if there was ever a version of the script in which he did. Um, I bet, yeah. But I feel like it was enough to have John show up because that was realistic. His wife is missing. Yeah, it's like it makes a lot of sense. And we'd also I don't think we need as much of them being like, what's going on? Like, you know, mm -hmm. him him showing up and them trying to have a scene. And you know that if that happens, maybe something about their relationship. I mean, like I trust Mike Flanagan as a writer uh, and, and clearly Katie Siegel like shepherded this as well. So like if they had chosen to go that way, I feel like it could have been fine. It could work. But I didn't think it needed it whatsoever yeah. yeah i agree with you i i also think that a lot of horror movies a lot of movies in general have a really hard time knowing when to end yeah and i when when she's sitting on the porch and she sees the cop cars i was like oh are we gonna about to do a jump to nah. like something else and it was like i don't want to do that because this was this full story she did it she made it like yeah. i don't need to see her in the cast I don't need, yeah i don't need to see her with her sister later on like i don't need to see it any suits, of those things yeah it's, she it's, this was like a one mission how does it end and and the premise the setup of this movie being that conversation and of her writing the novel not knowing how that ends yeah and then this having kind of the perfect ending yeah i thought was really uh just uh, yeah perfectly done perfectly done yeah it's 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 the exact right kind of ending for a story like this that again is like it's got nice little uh, nuances that clearly uh, demonstrate the care that they've put into this. But it's not trying to be so deep and heavy that it's not appropriate just to end on that sigh of relief like, we made it. <laughs> She's going to yeah. be fine. You know, finally help is coming. That Midnight Mass, uh, uh, what, what's it called? Candid moment. What, what's it called when you see something and send something else? That Midnight Mass. Oh, uh, that, like, 
It's like a reference or an Re- Easter egg. Yeah, or, but there's a word. Easter, Easter egg. egg. Yeah, Easter egg. Yeah. The Midnight Mass uh, uh, Easter egg was interesting too. I wonder. Because this you, was before that, I think. Yeah, de- well definitely must have been. So uh, I wonder then if that yeah. was if they had already been. He's probably circulating he's, or whatever. Yeah, I mean, if it if it showed up in this, I have to imagine it was something that's been on his mind for a while. And then, yeah, like with the success of this and the success of other things like Oculus, and of course Hill House. Um, yeah, I think through all that, you know, he probably got to realize that dream project or whatever. Yeah, um, yeah, but that was cool when you spotted that, and even something like the Stephen King novel that we see, and I was like, yeah, it's, uh, paying homage to all the other. Creepy, creepy, weirdo. Yeah, because this did nicely to be like, what if home invasion slasher movie, but instead of going schlock, we go Stephen King about it. It's sort of like how I felt. It's like, yeah, you've got a writer. You have the unique, I think the most you know, unique aspect people latched onto is the element of, oh, you have a, a person who can't uh, hear the full spectrum of everything around her, and so that's going to be you know, both a positive and a negative. I love the way it came around at the end, too, with the fire alarm. And using, you know, the directly opposite, you know, uh, uh, you know, state of being for the two of them as like a weapon in that moment, I thought was like a cool beat. And and that we don't get too much of a deep dive. Like, I really liked watching uh, uh, your boy as the killer guy because you don't get a crazy deep dive explanation on him. He doesn't have some kind of grudge that we know about. You know, he is it is that strangest thing of just like, I'm just out here doing this, man. And like, to me. You know, again, a great explanation is great, but also for a movie like this, I think it's appropriate sometimes to just be like, that's pretty horrifying. Because sometimes, again, lots of stuff happens in the world. I'm not going to say this is realistic, but, you know, some prowler could just pop up at your house in the woods and, you know, torture you for a little while. I feel like all the explanation that I needed was the 13 tally marks. Yeah. To me, that was this is who he is. This is what he does. This yeah. is sport. This is game. You know. Yeah. This uh, that to me showed. Okay, so we're not going to get a backstory. This has nothing to do with her. He was not coming after something specific. This is not a robbery. This is the thirteenth kill on his list. Yeah. And I loved that they included that one little moment that just makes you know that's what's up with this guy. Yeah. This is what he does, and he hasn't been caught yet. And that's also what makes her be like, I have to type out those notes. Yeah. Because if I I'm if I die, more than if I'm 14, next. I need it to be the, the last one. Yeah. That moment when she started typing, I got really teary-eyed because I think that the, the I went out, like, I died fighting or whatever. Like, your last yeah. thoughts that you want your family to know yeah. is, like, get this Great mother beat. effort and also... I just so you guys know, I went down like the baddie that I am, as opposed yeah, yeah. to like your family always having to wonder what happened here. You, you think about like getting that note as a family member and just yeah, like, at being horrified, but also so proud of somebody that that's yeah. what they did. I don't know. That was a really yeah. bizarrely emotional and moment. They would have for the me. presence to be like, "This is my f- with I, your you one. Know, I might be on the way out. Not yeah. your two hands, John. Yeah, you think just it your was, one. It was certainly oh, not so gross. Yeah, that was a great. Was so nasty. I wonder how they did that. That was yeah. <laughs> I mean, they really certainly at least had a prosthetic for part of it. Take <laughs> my strong hand, child. Oh. Was there anything that was lacking for you anywhere that you were like, I really wish that they had done this or this? Or, Not or, really. Yeah, me neither. No, I mean, this is one of those ones where I remember at the time people were like, oh, my God, this movie is so amazing. And I'm like, yeah, it's really good. I really liked it. And I think it's really conscientiously done. I'm not like this is my favorite horror movie, but I'm like, yeah, this is solid. It's really well made. It's it's thoughtful. It's got some nice flourishes. It's well shot without being like, you know, there's that one shot where she goes to the door and you get that big tilt. And that's kind of, you know, like an eccentric shot. But it's not like a James Wan movie, which I like James Wan movies. I like his style, but it's much more kinetic and much more, um, you know, sort of roller coastery. Uh, I thought this had the right amount of that. I really liked the music. I liked the use of, you know, diegetic sound in and out going from her perspective to then being able to hear the environments. And two, I mean, even though in the studio it's not always easy to deal with low light photography, I liked a lot of that stuff too. So, um, well, on that note, should we hush? Let's hush, unless you got anything else to tell the world. Just really good. It was uh, really, really great. I'm glad that we watched it. That's the coolest thing about doing this is that movies that I probably, because this was on Netflix and off of net whatever, that I probably never would have gotten around to it. I'm so glad that I did. I love seeing simple stories like this be told 
brilliantly well. Yeah, and that's what this story was. told well. And yeah, and and final thought, yeah, spending that time with the killer and really making him a character and watching as he like comes up with the story to tell the John. Like I thought that stuff was really nice because you have all the requisite like he's not a Hulk, he's not like teleporting around, he's not silent and we- he's off but in a more like tangible way where you're just like He's like kind of bored and he's like playing with his food and he's like semi amused by this stuff. But you can tell like, yeah, like that's that's an unhinged guy that could actually exist. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. It's a good impression. <laughs> well, Ron Joxy has done it again. Ron Joxy's done it again. Yeah. That. Thank you for watching Hush with us. You yeah. guys are awesome. Thank you for being amazing rejects. Uh, and we will be back with Drippy Moist in the future. Drippy Moist will be back. And hey, before we go, why don't we shout out a patron? They shout <laughs> Shout out to Kevin Smart. Listen, Kevin. Here's the deal. Number one, you're smart. You're smart. There's actually I don't think live up to. anything smart. better in the world you could be than smart. Because then you could be all the other things. If you're smart, you can be smart enough to be kind. You can be smart enough to be good. You can be smart enough to be great. True. Also because the Celtics just traded away Marcus Smart, and I love him so much. And so you share a last name. Yeah. So now I just needed that smart back in my life. So that's why a super sexy shout out to you, Smart. That's a smart shout out there, Roxy. Looking smart today. Well, don't make me go all Boston and smart. Smart. You're wicked smart. You're wicked smart, Kevin. That just makes it sound. Kevin, you wicked smack. How do you like the apples, Kevin? Oh, I could say it because I'm one of them. It just is the trashiest sounding accent ever. I'm so sorry to turn your it beautiful last name. It was voted one of the sexiest accents on a thing I was reading By recently. liars? <laughs> 100% of liars agree. That's bad. Uh, but you're not bad. You're not bad at all. Because you're Kevin and you're smart. And you're smart. And you're wicked. You're wicked smack. You're Kevin and you're fucking smart. <laughs> Love you, buddy. <laughs> Stay pledged.